Good morning. It's uh, once again. It's I. I never seem to manage to get it right at 9:30 anymore. It's uh, it's like 18 minutes later. I don't know. Um, it's just uh, a lot of things. A lot of things. Things always happen faster than you think they're going to happen. At least faster than I think they're going to happen. I try to account for that, but every time I do, it always happens faster. It's funny that. Okay. Do they have actual news? No, that's January. Okay. All right. But we are on 1.7799. Let's continue. People who cannot remember the past are the luckiest people in the world. So we are on the second leg of this with Sally. Um, and has... Uh, apparently the mechanics are going to be slightly different now. So I'm excited to find out about those sort of see how this is going to go. Um, something strange. Alright. Still alive? I wonder if I'm a cat. You might be. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we could be a cat. I'm not sure. I haven't tried, I haven't tried being a cat lately. I'm um, sorry, I'm just stalling because I'm checking my, uh, make sure I did the thing that I thought I was doing. Apparently I did. Okay, good. Yay. Alright. So, where are we? Um, baby's crying. That's not good. Alright, uh, we have Phenocycline, which is nice if we happen to catch Plague. We have a couple of hits of Sunshine. We have a couple of hits of Flash. She's currently carrying 13 pounds. She can carry a maximum of 80, which means that my pack rat tendencies are going to have to be Push to the side for this one, unfortunately. Uh, I may not to get I may not get to raid many houses right now. She does have points though, I want to check those out. Um, she has currently is carrying some honey and a can and an empty canteen. Uh, she has power cell and an empty power cell. She has a frying pan, which she cannot currently wield. Don't know what's going on there. Um Outfit, wearing a proper suit. No, no crafting components right now, which I think I put all I put them all in the, the thing upstairs. And she has a quest item, which was uh, her lab key card. So she gets into places. Okay, um, how are we doing? We're not terribly hungry or thirsty right now. Could happen later. Health is at sixty-four percent. Um. Maternal glow, improve fatigue and stamina. Okay. Baby emergency. Gwen needs to be fed. Uh, that's going to last until we can find milk. Um, cause apparently, I am assuming she is not currently in a position to be able to uh, produce milk. Um, so she will have to. Yes, or I mean, it was. Or she did, and it was all smashed. I don't know how it works, unfortunately. Um, but uh, it was clear that, well, no, she was saving up milk, and it got smashed when that uh, druggie came in. She can make nappies. That's good. Um, she makes them out of cloth and duct tape. That's delightful. Bandage. She can make bandages. Okay. Which also use cloth. But she has apparently six things of rubbing alcohol, which is helpful. All right, very small map right now. Don't cry over tinned milk. Has he got any? He better, I hope. Okay. We had that. Let's see if we've got anything for leveling up. Okay, let's actually check out what's what's going on with Sally here. Charmer, greets, greetings make people even less suspicious. Cool. I'm going to have to go back and remember all the base, basic survival stuff that I ended up not having to do. There's this whole different tree here of, of skills. Well, for the most part, it looks like a lot of the stealth skills are going to be similar. Uh, petite. 30 per, minus 30% speed whilst carrying a corpse. Slower carrying corpses cannot wield heavy weapons at all. 
Um, which I guess the frying pan is one of those. All thumbs. Rubbish at anything mechanical. Never learn to sew. Must buy advanced crafted gadgets from shopkeepers. Must buy advanced outfits from Mrs. Pankhurst. Wow. Just punching the, uh, just punching the, the table there. Chemically brilliant. Can craft drugs. No one else can. And that's going to be helpful. It's a chemist. Okay. So what do we have right now? Are we looking for survival? Track star can sprint faster and longer. Iron stomach. Eat rotten food without getting sick. That, that could be quite handy. Um, hardy. You get more benefits from being well-fed, hydrated, or rested. Buffs from being well-fed, hydrated, and rested last 50% longer. If we want to get that might be helpful. Carry more weight, which that'll be helpful if we want to go there. I, I really kind of want to go in that direction immediately because I I know what uh, I know what I do when I play these games. Uh, I, I pick up everything. Craftsman. Crafted weapons and atomizers wear out half as quickly. Ooh. Tireless. No negative effects from hunger, thirst, or fatigue. If we end up going that way. Hagler, you get better prices when buying and selling at shopkeepers. What, wait, what is she starting out with? Uh, or getting close? She doesn't start out with any of these. I still have to buy these. And I can. I have nine points, but I'm looking at it. Piggy Piggy plants yield more resources. Can you get better prices? Shopkeepers are 125% of base prices of 150%. Buy at 75% instead of 50, which could be nice. Lucky me, find fancier loot. Loot containers have more high-value loot. Ooh. I really kind of want that. High tolerance. Joy lasts longer and gives you less of a hangover. Wow. Okay. Herbalist. Heal better. Healing items are 50% more effective. Hustler. Get the best price of the shopkeepers. And buy and sell at base price with no markup or discount. Cool, cool. Just sweet dreams. Quietly smother people unconscious in their beds. Can we not do that yet? Oh yeah, wait, yeah, that's, that's yeah, I had to buy that, I think. Yeah, that was a thing. Talking to people makes them trust you more. Tippy toes sprint quietly. Reduce visibility at night. Nothing to see here. Go out at night without Bobby's fussing at you. Witnesses will react more slowly to your trespassing, giving you time to run away. Curfew does not apply. Witnesses won't react as quickly. Yeah, this, this, this one's always nice. Kind of want to build toward that one. Um, oh, you. Yep. Backstabber. I mean, I guess eventually, if this goes the same way... I know, right? It's uh, uh, every, Who doesn't pick up everything these days? <laughs> That's, that's my question. Um, it's actually Conti's question, but I stole it. Uh, body snatcher, search and carry bodies faster, drop bodies quietly. Sneak thief, silently pick locks. Yeah, a lot of these were similar to what Arthur was able to pick up. Super duper. Blender, look like you belong there, even when you don't. Hide in plain sight, sleep in owned beds without upsetting anyone. Greater chance of breaking line of sight when escaping enemies. I feel like I really need this one. Frenzy, deal double damage. When health is critical. Okay. That's weird. Alchemist unlocks four advanced drugs recipes at once. All require the unique precursors only Sally can craft. Unlocks recipes for stoic blood toxin, chronobalm, and velvety emulsion. Ooh, I don't know what some of that is. Double, double yield of some crafted drugs. Doubled. Ah! Ooh. Okay. So many things. So I've got nine points. I know. So, I have a tendency when I play these games to do a lot of hiding. I might want to... I really might want to take this. This is five points. Let me see what else we, I might want to just, like, start with. Hmm... I really kind of want to move toward being able to carry more because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I know myself. I know how this works. Smothering people in their beds is very useful. <laughs> he says calmly. <laughs> mm. I 
So we're just going back through seeing which trees I can get just so that I can make sure I know what I'm doing. Ha ha. Okay. So I think we are going to head down this track soon. I, can, I really kind of want to get that and that. So I think those are going to be our priorities right now is we're working toward um, being able to carry more. I could get that now. I could get that right now if I wanted to. If I forego the blending, I'm going to get the blending. I'm going to get the blending and hardy, I think. And then I'm going to work toward the rest of these, I think. I think that's what I'm going to start out with. So let's do that. Buy it, yes. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I am going to talk to people, though, very soon. Hmm. I'm going to do three things to get the, uh, four things? Yeah, four things to get the anti-curfew thing. I think, actually, I'm going to go ahead and buy the smooth talker first. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, blending, it's, yeah, the uh, blending, the blender is, like, it's, this is really going to be helpful. Okay. All right, now that we've got all that sorted out, let's go ahead and do what we came, what we came to do. Has he got, yeah, ask Lionel about tin milk. He's right over here. The baby is crying, but uh, we're gonna we're going to come back soon. We hope. Front door is locked. Let us go ahead and let's go ahead and see what we are doing. Remember when Arthur climbed that? Okay. remember to talk to people especially the especially the little old ladies okay I'm gonna go that way There's this little diamond down here look in on Gwen I will do that um, I have forgotten how to talk to people e You're looking fine today. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline. Hold on. You're not Harry. No, she's not. <laughs> Counter breach. They find him. Okay. We have memories down here. Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden, but she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. Uh. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances, and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Hmm. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals. For later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? 
Where did you all go? Okay, this is very strange. Um, not that, I mean, uh, the conversation was understandable, but uh, the rest of it I'm not sure. I wish I weren't such rubbish at tinkering. I know, right? Ah. Now I'm so used to having lock picks. Okay, still got all the stuff. I cannot use this, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that away also. There we go. Don't need that extra weight there. Cool. No more powder on their leaves. It's also a very good idea to stick to piped water. Uh, there are no other hatches right now, but... Wait, rat hole and hatch. Huh. Maybe later. At least until the sulfur uh, powder. Also need to learn how to how to make lockpicks. Okay. Little tangent. Danger, wear your gas mask. Would be nice to have a gas mask. Times at 1 6 p.m. Gotta be on the lookout. I don't want to get complacent here thinking that I have Should got... clear up soon, I imagine. I'm so looking forward to the Battle of Flowers, aren't you? Yep, flower fights are awesome. Um, so many people. Okay. That's a shop down there. I've got my eye on you. We must catch up sometime. Yes, we must. Please have ten milk, Lionel. Please. Lovely day for it. <laughs> Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a monk girl like yourself. Everything I've got is as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. Um, dang it. <laughs> no, the reason we uh, we wear gas masks in the middle of the street is because at night the uh, the, the fumes come out. I need some tin milk problems. for something I'm brewing. Oh well, uh, the, the 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 treat from over the bridge. Well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collectors' items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there. There's rumors of cannibals, devil worshippers, Q jumpers. Q jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on Eel Pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll see what I can find. Oh, dear. He's got a very nice looking, nice, nice weapon over there. That's, uh, probably does a lot of damage to people. Okay. Go see the Uncle Jack fans. Oh, man. No, they were... They were such a... Yeah, I know. Q jumpers! No, they were very, uh... They were very, uh... Dogmatic about their worship. Um... Yeah, it is, it is, yeah, the, the, the fog comes up at night from the sewers and what have you, and, uh... It's, uh... Kind of lethal. Um... It's from, uh, sort of a byproduct of all the modeling they, they make. Um... All the... The wonderful delivery systems they've created of pipes throughout the grounds. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? Looking at the quest, actually. 
Okay. A whole bunch of Uncle Jack fans out in the Garden District. That's sort of sad, isn't it? There are no televisions there, just loudspeakers. Oh. See, they've got one TV. <laughs> oh, boy. Garden District. Okay. So, odds and ends shop. There's a house there. Unfortunately, this character can't pick locks. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Maybe soon. <laughs> uh, you ever get that thing? You ever just suddenly get the urge to go and knock over a house? I can't imagine why I would have that, but I, I, I have that. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to go back to uh, Standard Opera Hitting Prison. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go back to... Uh, Uh, I'm going to go back to standard operating procedure and start just mapping everything out and finding quests and what have you. And we'll come around and we'll look in on Gwen on the way back because we have to keep doing that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's getting, it's not too bad yet, but it's going to get there. Um, needs to be fed. I don't know how long I have. Probably not too long. What can I do for you today? You've got weaponry. Apparently none of which I can actually well, I can't buy any of these things. I don't have any money. Okay. We're expecting a new shipment any day now, so yeah. do check back in a day or two. How do you remember? Tutorial, you're a petite. You're not terrific at fighting or at surviving fights, but you don't have to avoid confrontations because you're a genius chemist. Your powerful experimental drugs make you a match for any opponent. You already know some of the recipes, but you must find the most advanced ones in encounters or via skills. Unfortunately, you are rubbish at anything mechanical, including sewing. You will need to buy your supplies and weapons from shopkeepers and your outfits from Mrs. Pankhurst. Unfortunately, your old boss, Stuart, the chemist, will pay a lot of money for your concoctions. So brew enough for everybody. Okay. Um, shopkeepers, outfits. I need to find those spankers. Uncle uh. Jack records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack records. Not that Lionel knows that. Thank God. Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district drank. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Hackney. They get so resentful. Yep. Okay, can I get my kit? That is not optional. I'm gonna save the game. Oh boy. Alright. I've got my eye on you. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. Nope.
Okay. We have the joy booth. We have chemistry set coming up. I think that's in the basement of that. Alright. You come swing around this way. Yeah. Okay. Do to do. -do. Alright. Should I pick up some of this stuff just in case? Oh, no, that would be taking it. Let's not take it. She knows how to do that. Don't you look well? Right as right. Right as right. Yep. Okay. Come on, where is it? There it is. Alright. Yeah, I cannot climb stairs. Come on, you wee babbin. Well, we've got one lockpick. And we've got a jimmy bar. Well, there's that much at least. Okay, also thirsty. We should probably do something about that. Canteens. I'm just gonna cheese. Put some of the other will filter the the joy out of the water. That is helpful. Okay. Let's see. Kinda did. Um where did we get that? Your garden district kit. It's apparently across the street somehow. Look downstairs. I don't know. thing. I'm going to find out what's across the street and we'll see kind of.
Well, look at you. Watch out for scurvy, Uncle Jack says. I'm sure he does. Now. Okay. I go around this way. folks. Does that sound any better? And let me find out. No more, no more robots. That's good. Accursed robots. Band together, keep them from taking over. Let me actually make this so that this is going to. Of course, the trouble is I got to redo this and redo the sound here. Make sure I'm picking the correct thing. There we go. There we go. Now I can hear it. All right, good. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, for, for for the uh, for the heads up on the robots. We're all in this together. To fight the robot menace. Alright. Let me see if I can find the outfit in here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I wanna keep I wanna keep the AMB gun handy just in case the robots show up again. Um better chemistry set. I can make a water filter if I need to. Hmm. Hallucinex. See, see, Sally can make chlorine. <laughs> I could, Arthur couldn't make chlorine. Let me see. The important thing also is going to be picking up a bunch of rowan berries so that, uh, so that you can make sunshine, because I've only got a little sunshine right now. Funny RPGs. Funny RPGs are good. They are our friends. We enjoy them. And try her apartment, which is probably more likely where everything is. Yep, just leaving the door open. Like one does. Can, let's see. Let's try and see if there's an area that has opened up where I can suddenly look like behind a panel or something and find. 
Okay. Cool. Greetings! Hey, how's it going? He's uh, just sort of hanging out, trying to puzzle through this. We are on the second leg of We Happy Few now. Yeah, for those of you just joining us, we are now playing a, a second character. This is Sally. See, there she is. Alright. Doing alright. For the most part. Still, you know, just basically barely getting things done before they have to be done, usually. That's that's how this works. Uh, on the babbin. Where is this outfit? Sally does not have a closet. Okay. Going to try something just to, uh, so that I can figure out what it is that I'm doing. Because it is important. Mm hmm. see here. Okay. A cubby. It is in a cubby. Apparently there is a cubby that is marked. Don't go starting sword and sandal fighting. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> it's not time for that yet. <laughs> All, right. All right. So that's the emergency thing. All right. I'm going to look and see if there's any other little... Any of these other sort of things that I just happen to be not seeing. That's, that's fair. We do need, we do need those kinds of games. I actually did once, uh, I put together a, uh, a setting, which I'm going to be uh, running some games on probably later uh, this year, um, but uh, there, where there's a, um, it's a sort of fantastical Ro uh, uh, early empire era Roman setup, where there are humans living alongside minotaurs and uh, satyrs and various other creatures. Is this cubby that I am overlooking that has that has the garden district stuff in it? Where is it? Getting and this is getting severely annoying. I gotta find this out because this is one of. The, and ordinarily, I wouldn't immediately jump to look, but this is uh, like a thing where it's. I, I have a feeling there's a disconnect betwixt how this is set up and how my brain works. <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, citizens. It is much appreciated. Um, so Garden District, kit, which is Garden District. Where is it? Okay. No. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah, this is 
is just one of those things where it's like okay where is this thing Because if, uh, okay. So, this is showing me a picture of the lab. And the picture of the lab is, hmm. That's where a different cubby is currently located. Let me see. Let me see if I can puzzle this out here. See, the picture that it's showing me is this, but it's not in there. So, do we have another panel that looks like this? That's my question. Let me actually make absolutely sure that is the picture I'm looking at before before too much else happens. Okay. And it's like okay. So one bank on the left with panels with uh, with the bank on the right, and it's the bottom left-hand corner panel of that one. Okay. So, it would be like that there. So let me just look at the other panels and make sure I'm looking at this correctly. It looks kind of like this. Ah, here we go! <laughs> that was not marked at all! <laughs> well, yeah, the, the setting is that I have is sort of a fantasy uh, sort of Roman era thing, but uh, you never know. Um, all right. So, she also has a torn suit now, which will be helpful. That is good. Okay. And a cricket bat, which is something she actually can wield. There we go. Rather effective and quintessentially British means of convincing people to lie down. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm now going to head back up and uh, drop that stuff off, some of the, uh, the crafting stuff off once more. Because we have even more crafting stuff and we need all the available, <laughs> all the available space to carry things that we, we can get. Alright. Alright. One more time. Oh, it's already spinning. I can't. All right. Oh, never mind. We're just going to leave it. Okay. Oh, homebrew world, have you? What kind of homebrew world are you doing? Tell us, tell us. If you can. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to if you do not wish to. Or if you are otherwise committed to not speak of it. Okay, cool. Okay, it's actually getting toward night. She's gonna have to she's gonna hit curfew soon. Um, okay. What's that? There's a shelter way up there. Hmm. Curious. I wonder if I actually should just try going through to because I, I I'm wondering if Fratzholm is down there. Let's find out. Let's find out together. And, uh, don't mind me, just uh, wandering through this forbidden zone where this where a terrible wastrel was spotted. What's happening? 
Burden of guilt. Great. So that's just going to randomly happen. Because I couldn't freaking... Well, I couldn't do anything with the baby. When I was in the room there. Here, yes. Let's go ahead and neglect the child while you're in the room because the, the game interface will not allow you to do otherwise. That sounds healthy. No, no, let's not be weighed down by guilt. How do we get back there? Through here. I think we're going to be weighed down by guilt till we can find milk. Kid needs milk. So you can't do anything else. All you can do is spin this bloody thing. Yeah, no, can't do anything else. I'm trying to pick up milk for the wee babbin. Too late. I know Dr. Vlock is scary. With all the doctors I had back and call. But I couldn't keep playing as naughty nurse. Well, I suppose I could have. But you have to draw the line somewhere, don't you? Kind of. Alright. Yes, thank you. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a remedy for the guilt, so we're going to try going through here. doing this and just restoring because where shall we wander today this may put us in entirely the wrong place mind the gap please now is this anywhere near no gotten there faster just going overland. Okay. I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna reload. Because I do not wish the child to, uh, to perish. Oh, what part of the house is transparent? Okay. Come on. Come on. I have lost the mouse. There it is. Smarten this place up. Yay, okay. Okay, we've got the cricket bat, we've got the uh got the torn outfit. Let's go. Alright. We're gonna head out down that way.
time to go searching side streets right now. Yes, I know, I know. And I gotta go deal with. These days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Sally uses an atomizer to spray chemicals at her enemies. You can craft Hallucinex in the chemicals section of the crafting menu. Then you can craft the, the Hallucinex atomizer in the weapons section of the crafting menu. Equip the Hallucinex atomizer as a weapon and press left mouse button to create clouds of drugs that will make other people think obsessively about dogs with hilarious and violent results. You'll be able to unlock other atomizer recipes throughout the game. Okay. Do we actually have those things, or am I just imagining? I'm imagining. Hallucinex. If I have a chemistry set, I can't actually make it right now. I've got a cricket bat. That's what I have right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put on that. And see if we can find some stuff. For the child, by which I mean milk. Way over here. Yeah, I gotta just make a freaking beeline for that. But if the war's over, why didn't they send them back? Yeah, we'll try talking to people later. Okay. I don't have to wear that idiotic mask anymore. It's gonna be night soon. It's gonna be dangerous. You can't run very far. Alright. So many beautiful plants, and only some of them are lethal. Yep. I wish I died in the vomits. I know. Bees. Wow. Ah. Okay, that was weird. I'm trying to get to these folks before the sun goes down. Delta Jack. This will be so fun to talk to. And I can get. Uh... All right, here we go.
Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. Yep. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, <laughs> right? It's just a question of concentration. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? Oh, You can't dear. be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming to Don't mess with these people's heads like this. <laughs> it's a mess. We have to clean up. Oh, man. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle That's the spirit. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah. You're gonna be suspicious. Oh crap. That worked out well. Ah, great. Fabulous. Fabulous. This is working out so well. Find a trash can or something to hide in. You are dying from your wounds. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's great. This is this is going so well. Um. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna reload. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. It's been so long since I've had to worry about things like this. Alright. Okay. Yep. Alright. Let's try this again. Apparently in order to take people down, you have to have a syringe of a type that I do not have. Knockout syringe. I need knockout juice to make that. And to make knockout juice, I need hyptoplasma and night blooming nonsuch. Okay. Great to know. I, I'm very concerned that the. 
the baby is going to starve to death before I can actually get any of this stuff. This is so I can't just go around waiting for night and gathering stuff, waiting till the next day. Um, I mean, maybe the game allows that. Of course. I don't know. You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the garden district, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. Okay. We can't take joy. But We've that already had that. Let me see. I mean, we can... can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does. How does one skip ahead? Right? I forget. It's just a question uh, of concentration. Backspace. Oh yes. Uncle Jack's coming. Okay. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. That's the spirit. Yeah, he's he's Let's coming. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Now the problem is I cannot go into any of these buildings. I can't take these people out. I have to actually... I don't think this is possible to do yet until... Unless I do something to drastically change what's going on. Let's see if I can find something on a lower, lower level. Concealment there, that's good. Okay, unless... Oh, there's a trunk up there. Let me figure out how to get up there. Ah. Let's hope the lockpick stays open. is not good. Alright. Hmm. Ah, yes. There we go. So, no records. I managed to get a hold of um, an Electrolock Shocker, which will not do a lot. Some stew. Foxglove, apparently. Alright. This is not going well. Think about heading home. 
Yeah, sure. We still have a zone of can't do anything going on? Okay, good, they've forgotten. Actually, I'm going to save the game again. I don't know if it'll help. I'm out of lockpicks. This is unten untenable. Hi. You have records in there? I bet you do. <laughs> There's nothing we can do for you. Uh, we're already in there. Try gathering ingredients to make the things I need to make, but um, I'll have access to night blooming none such soon. Hyptoplasma is going to be harder though. I'm going to have to go scouring for, for druggies, and that's going to take way too long. Alright. Cricket bat it is. Alright, now we already were in there. Pipe's good. Alright. Yeah, I can't find any of these bloody records. Did I know you? This is a fucking state of affairs. Pardon my French. Don't go opening people's boxes just because they're not looking, okay? Nothing more we can do for him. I guess there's nothing we can do for him now. Oh dear. I know just how you feel. Don't swim in the river. The fumes will kill you. And you can't search this body because there are two people staring at me right now. Hmm. very tricky. So, the only places I could see... Oh, there is a, uh, there's a record player over there. That's really what we're looking for. Okay, so that's one. I'm just gonna get the other one. Let's see. Yeah, it was already in this fellow's place. Didn't see it. Unless it was up in that bathtub up there, which is possible. Damn it!
There it is. I see it. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. Yay, okay. Made it, all right. Now I just have to figure out how to leave. There we go. Right, that worked out. Okay. <laughs> that was that was crazy harrowing. Okay. All right. Now is just the question of getting back. Now here's where the problem really comes in. Walking around here at night is not really an option. Also, Lionel's going to be closed. I'll try going around until I can find a uh, another hatch, I suppose, if there's another hatch out here. Or I can find a... or I can go into the ruined house. There's a ruined house down there. If there's a bed there, then I can uh, wait out until dawn which I guess I'm going to have to do. I wonder if Lionel can make some sort of automatic baby feeder for me. Wouldn't that be nice? Then I wouldn't have to run back home as often to feed Gwen. All right. Sounds a bit hard-hearted, doesn't it, Gwen? But Mommy's trying to save our lives. Yeah. Let me make sure the, the gangs aren't out. Okay. Maybe they're out, probably, but you know how it goes. Look around the back of this ruined house. Oh, there's a plague victim out there. Great. That's awesome. Window isn't openable, is it? No, of course not. Yeah, I feel as though <laughs> 
Yeah, there's only like one of them left. And he's just gonna stay out there apparently, so I can't get out there because that's not gonna be helpful at all. Go away! <laughs> okay. So, can't, can't get into this place. Jesus. Hope you find bobby pins, I guess. I am curious about this quest. Apparently I don't know what it is yet. Great. with melee weapons do slightly more damage. Well, yay, light bulb. Could come in handy. Need a place to rest. Uh. Well, that's not going to be helpful. Okay. Why are there so many feathers out here? That's one question. Alright. Unfortunately, I have not yet purchased the upgrade that allows me to, to smother people. I could buy it right now. <laughs> Wait, let's do that. It is a bird bath. Oh yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yes! the cleaver. Okay, I don't really... Mostly just wanting to make sure there's no one else in here. Just rest. Just rest. Here's a dig spot. Alright. Bobby pins. Good. Now I can finally make more lock picks. Jesus.
I forgot how survivally the survival aspect of this game is when you when you're in need of it. Alright. How much is she carrying? Uh, almost too much. I'm gonna have to ditch some of this stuff. Jubilator activator. Okay. So, this now will make it possible. To hang out till morning and, uh, wait. I mean, I could go in there and, uh, just trip the alarm and everyone here is asleep, but, uh, there's still people outside, in particular. Upstairs with the others. Just in case you happen to wake up at some point. Okay. Here we go. Alright. I'm gonna save the game again because I can. Okay. So. I'm gonna get back up there, and what I'm gonna do is hide out here. I'm gonna try sleeping to hide out until morning or just before, and hope that everything's okay. So, the sun comes up seven ish. Hopefully, be over there by the time things are. Hopefully nothing terrible has happened. Alright. Um, hungry and thirsty, that's the only thing which we can take care of right now. There we go. Alright. We might come back at some point and... Okay. Yeah. Okay, let us make our way back north. None such over there, but I'm not going to get any because it's right next to a couple of plague victims. Ah, oh, crap, they saw me. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, let's find a trash can. Too much to hide. Jesus.
There's another ruined house. Better. Also, daylight helps. Alright. What the hell? Your grandmom didn't leave me a note. I never stopped wondering. Now, why everyone but me? Didn't she care what happened to me? My brother's keeper? Am I? Okay. I forget if I'm allowed to search the ro the rubble files. Maybe I am. Okay. You know it doesn't work for you. Mm. How could you forget that? Sadness and despair. Okay. Heading back, finally. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta step away from the bridge if I want to save the game. Alright. There we go. Alright. And I'm just filling up all the slots immediately. All right. I feel like a mule carrying all this. And just about as fast, too. All right, let's get rid of some of that, then. Don't need these meat cleavers. Oh, she can use them. That's nice to know. However, yeah. These lead pipes are probably going to be, yeah, they're going to be faster. This is faster and causes bleeding. Okay. I just want to see, just in case we can find a way across here. No, we can't. Okay. Never mind. All right, let's do this. Okay, she's now wearing her proper clothes, carrying a meat cleaver as one always does. Sunshine. Oh, I've got to learn to give up some possessions, or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. Oh, all right, fine. Excuse me. Drop the axe. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip top shape, aren't you? It was yeah, so thank pleased you, you survived the garden district. Toodaloo. Alright. Okay. Back to this. So now we just gotta get uh, over to the store. Oh, 
Bundling along, pretend happily. Jack record. Me borrower's been pestering me. Yes. I have indeed. Your brillo! Milk you shall have! Excellent. Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder? For birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, 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 I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Right. Okay, come back in a couple days. All right. So looking at the missions, there's nothing there. Um, I shouldn't take it longer than a couple of days, and I can leave one alone a little longer. God, that sounds so hard-hearted, but it's good for her. Too. But it's for her good too. It's good for her. All right, craft baby milk. All right. Now, what do I need to make the baby milk? Got what I need. Good. Okay. I'm gonna do this in front of him. All right. Up and to the left. Where have I heard that before? How have you been? Hello there, love. Hello. We're getting there. The important thing is just don't make eye contact. Okay, the baby's still alive, that's good. Always helpful, that. Alright. Much safer than mum's milk required for your continued existence of your baby. Oh! I understand. Gwen's got something to eat, at least. Yeah. She can't use her own milk because that's. Yeah. Is there maybe kind of, you know, drugs involved? Um, totem of parental neglect! Oh my god! You're physically saddled with the burden of guilt for your neglectful parenting and it weighs heavily upon you. Attend to your child's needs and the guilt will be assuaged. Penalty incurred due to child neglect can only be removed by attending to the baby's needs. Wow! I have so many. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Seventeen of them. Okay, that's that's great to know. Wait a minute. Sorry. Crafting components. Okay, that's done, apparently. Um Here we go, darling. 
Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Yeah. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Hey, <laughs> you can go back to your adventures with Where's a light heart. The bloody door now. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is uh, wondering if you've mm. got any blackberry ready for him. Oh, oh yeah. I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell mm -hmm. you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. Oh, that's not good. Oh, great. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true, though, Mom, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. Mm. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashir is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, uh... Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. Mm. I was visiting the General. Uh -huh. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, hmm. the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. Oh dear. And that won't be cheery for either of us. Nah. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps, and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Okay, go back to your job. Okay. So where are we here? We're over here now. Interesting. I'm gonna save the game, and... I think that'll, that will in fact be it. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and save over that since we no longer need it. And we're about there. Okay. We're about at the point that I must I must away, I'm afraid. <laughs> no idea, no idea where any of that comes from. Alright, and back to me. Hello! Well, uh, thank you very much for watching, it is much appreciated. Um, as always. Uh, so, what's happening? So, tomorrow morning, uh, we are going back to, um, uh, take care. Thank you very much for, for watching. Uh, tomorrow morning we're going to go back to, um, uh, Age of Mythology. And so I'm going to be doing that campaign. Uh, sort of this strange little thoughts about, uh, about, uh, trying to get in through the walls of Troy with, uh, with a wooden horse. Not sure if that's going to work or not, but we'll give it a stab. Uh, tomorrow evening, it's back to the Tabletop RPGs, we're doing our one shot of Dialect um, that we're going to be doing. It's, uh, I think they're doing a sort of a cyberpunkish type setting for that one, and so that's going to be a lot of fun. It's a view about language and how it dies. So we're going to play that. Mondays, I am right now over on Katie's channel, Katie Face, uh, 
running uh, inspectors. And so that's a short campaign we're doing. And the uh, first session was hilarious, and I, I'm hoping that uh, the, the, the actual missions continue in a similar vein. So I think that's going to be fun. Uh, on Wednesdays over here on this channel, we do a Wednesday nights a uh, short campaign of Tremulous. And uh, this month it's Lovecraftian Horror, powered by the Apocalypse. Uh, they're out in Siberia, and uh, uh, things are getting interesting, as they have, uh, they have ticked off the forces of the forest, apparently. Uh, and uh, then uh, we come back around to Friday, Friday afternoons. I play uh, Torment, Tides of Numenera, and so we'll have that. Um, and then that brings us back around to Saturday, Saturday morning, uh, one week from today, when we'll be doing more of this and uh, accomplishing more quests and whatnot, and I guess uh, making more Blackberry solution for the cops so they don't uh, uh, go completely off their drugs and uh, uh, do terrible, terrible things to everyone. So that'll be uh, what we're doing. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next time. Much appreciated. Uh, I think that, uh, yes, I have to do a lot of dashing around now, as there's, uh, I'm actually going to run a, a tabletop game in person shortly. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, but in the meantime, please take care, and I shall see you all of a sudden.